What's up everyone, Simulator Shane here and today I want to show you the end-to-end -end testing of the intercom system now that it's mounted onto the motherboard. So you can see there, that's the motherboard. This section here is the intercom, so this is all the inputs and outputs going to the actual intercom and the various headsets. As you can see, there's some mixing going on in the trunking, there's, that's the headphone common and that's the intercom common ground over there. And then here's the Molex connectors. You've got the females attached to the motherboard and then the males coming in here. That's so that they can be disconnected to move the sim. And then over here, we have the helicopter headset. That's the David Clark. And that's wired into the roof module that sits in the cockpit. So that's the pilot headset and then the passenger headset over there. Both the jacks are wired in and, and functional now. And again, that can be removed so that you can separate it from the helicopter once that's attached to the cockpit. So there's one headset and then if we follow it the other direction there's the second headset. So right now I've got a GA headset so it's for fixed wing aircraft typically. So there's the two dual plugs you got the microphone and the headset and the headphones separately and that's just so that I can use my um, GA headset or if someone has a GA headset they want to use in the cockpit, they can do that. And then if you follow the third group of wires, it goes over to the actual intercom. So there's the intercom system that actually mounts into the panel with the faceplate on it that has the volume squelch controls and the on-off switch. And then that's the intercom loom, which interfaces to my cable looms there. So that's where all the headphone outputs and microphone inputs and the power and everything gets mixed in there. And then that right there is the aux jack, so that's, you can plug that into like an MP3 device, like an iPad or an iPhone, and listen to music. So that's it, there's the intercom, one headset, another headset, and you can plug a third headset in over there, if you want to have two helicopter jacks. And then that's the motherboard. And that's the power supply up there, 12 volt coming in right there. And eventually, when it's totally integrated into the motherboard that'll run through a relay board so you can uh, control the intercom power or whether or not the intercom has power based on the status of the battery in the actual simulated aircraft. So there you have it guys, fully integrated and tested end to end or should I say headphone to headphone. Everything works and this section of the motherboard is now complete ready to be installed into the sim. Alright, I hope you guys liked that video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.